earlier this week, I showed you how to unlock the bootloader of the OnePlus 3. And today I'm going to show you how to install the Custom Recovery Twerp, TWRP. Now to do this, you will be required to follow all of the steps that I included in that last tutorial for unlocking the bootloader. This means you need to have developer mode enabled, you need to have USB debugging mode enabled, you need to have the minimal ADB and fastboot tools installed on your computer, and then once all of that is done then you can start to install twerp on the OnePlus 3. You will need to download the custom recovery image file for twerp and I will have a link to that included in the tutorial and that tutorial is linked in the description below this video. Once you have downloaded that image file, you should go ahead and rename it to twrp.img just so that it's a small font name and it's easy for you to type. And then you're going to need to move that into the installed folder for minimal ADB and fastboot. For me, minimal ADB and fastboot installed to C program files x86 minimal ADB and fastboot. If you installed those tools in a different folder, then that folder will be in a different location. You just need to have that twrp.img file in the same folder as your fastboot.exe file. Just to give you an example, this is what my minimal ADB and fastboot folder looks like now. All of the files except twerp.image were installed there by default when I installed the tools. So then all I had to do was download that image file, rename it, and then move it or copy it into this minimal ADB and fastboot directory. Once you have moved the twrp.img file into the minimal ADB and fastboot directory, then we can go ahead and boot the OnePlus 3 into fastboot mode. If you're unsure how to do this, again, the link to those instructions are included in the tutorial that I wrote for this guide, and that is linked in the description below. So be sure to check that out if you need help. I have set up the advanced reboot menu within developer mode, so I'm just going to go in here and tap on bootloader, because bootloader is the same as fastboot mode. And then while that's booting, you're going to go ahead and connect the USB cable to the OnePlus 3. Now that you have the USB cable connected to the OnePlus 3 that's connected to your computer, we're going to go ahead and launch the minimal ADB and fastboot shortcut. And that's going to bring up this command prompt right here. This will bring us to the exact location of our ADB and fastboot tools. And then from here, you just need to type fastboot space flash space recovery space twrp.img. Just like it shows in the command prompt here. After you type that, just go ahead and press enter on the keyboard. And nothing's going to be displayed on the OnePlus 3. 
but you're going to get this message in the command prompt. It sends the recovery to the OnePlus 3. It writes the recovery image to the recovery partition on the OnePlus 3. And as long as you get an OK message on both of those, then everything's good. Once you have flashed the recovery twerp image to your OnePlus 3, we can go ahead and type the command fastboot space reboot. And before you press enter, be sure to get ready because as soon as the OnePlus 3 reboots, we're going to want to press and hold on the volume down and power buttons at the same time. We're going to continue holding these two buttons during the booting process so that we can boot back into recovery mode. So we press enter, press and hold those two buttons. Now we have an option menu here. We're going to press the volume down button twice and then press the power button to select that option. Now we see we're at the twerp main menu. And we're going to have this little mouse arrow here. This is just a small bug and it's going to get fixed in the future. If you have a pin pattern or password, you will be asked to enter that here. Now from here you're going to have a, a, a couple of options. Once we boot into twerp for the, for, for the first time, we're going to have an option to keep the system read only or we have the option to install it. Now if we keep it as read only, we'll be able to access twerp for this one time, say if you wanted to flash super SU, you could come in here as read, keep read only, flash super SU and then reboot. If you keep it read only and then reboot, the stock recovery image will be overwritten. So instead of having twerp all the time, you will go back to the stock recovery. If you want to keep twerp on your OnePlus 3, all you have to do is swipe the blue arrows to the right and that will install it. Now from here you can make your Nandroid backups. You can reboot back into system which will take you back to Android. You can reboot to recovery. You can reboot to bootloader mode. Just going to boot reboot back into recovery real quick. We'll input our pattern again. You'll need to do this every time you boot into Twerp if you have a pin, pattern, or password set. Now see this since this was the second time I booted into it and I kept the modification, it's no longer set as read only. And you won't have to worry about that again. And just to show you that everything boots up properly. And we'll reboot back into system. We'll go ahead and unplug. We need to unplug that. Now 
as always it'll ask for our pattern then it will complete the boot process and take us right back into the Android operating system. Now from here, just like I showed you before, anytime you reboot back into recovery mode, your original stock recovery will be replaced unless you chose the option to keep it read only. If you kept the modification like me, Every time you boot into recovery mode, you'll go right into twerp.